What is good, Josh on the school game man? Back back with yet another reaction video, baby. And today we are back with another death battle. As today we have Lord of the Rings versus World of Warcraft. Two things I've never seen before in my life or played. Sorry, uh, but we have Sauron versus Lich King. Lich King. Sorry if I pronounced that name wrong, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this death battle. So obviously I have no pre-information on the fight so i'm not gonna get my predictions till after we get the uh, backstory and everything but uh of course just to give you guys a quick rundown you know new series over the game channel smooth got game my mobile the show rebuilt plus we have ncaa coming out soon and madden coming out soon so the channel on the gaming side is gonna be popping for a good minute we might even tone down the reactions i don't know see how much i can put up but uh let me know uh if you guys want to watch some of that stuff over there you can obviously click the link in the description to get over to that channel uh but uh as always Let's go ahead and watch through this, man. We're going to cut out the backstory for you guys. I'm going to edit that part out. I'm going to watch it, though, because I need to know. Obviously, I don't know about these two people. And then we're going to come in, watch their stats and stuff like that. I'll get my predictions pre-fight. I'm going to go see if we catch a dub or an L. So make sure you guys leave those down below in the comment section for your boy. Let me know which side you're rocking with. And if you lose, you got to put down your points down below why you think that your character probably should have won. And if you got the dub, go ahead and defend yourself down below. We're going to keep it respectful. But go ahead and defend yourself down below. So without further ado... Hit the like, subscribe if you're brand new to the family. Roll to 5K. Do appreciate love every single one of you guys for the 4K uh, subs already. Let's keep it growing. Share things where you go. Share all your most important and funny stuff. Group chats, text messages, family group chats, social medias. Uh, matter of fact, get a, a helicopter and have that thing written across the air with my YouTube channel name on it. You do that, I'll give you like a uh, free box of cookies. So <laughs> let's go ahead and jump straight into this thing though. Uh, like I said, I have no idea about either of these two storylines. So I'm going to see who's stronger. Sauron. The so Lord right. of the Rings, the Lich King, Lich Warcraft's King. Lord of the Scourge. Evil has many shapes, but few can match the presence of these kings of blight and shadow. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. And I gotta pause this to go to explain to y'all. I have to cut this stuff out to like pause like this. Because sometimes they be being weird, bro. Like, all I'm doing is reacting to their death battle, and I still be having my content flagged for uh, for copyright. Even when I do cut stuff out. So, like, it, it's, I don't know. Some of them they let slide, some they don't. I don't really know with them. You know, love the death battles, but not too good on the monetization. I'll say that much. Forged in the fires of Mount Doom, using part of Sauron's own soul, the One Ring amplified his power and let him control the minds and actions of the other ring bearers. Nice. The nine kings of men were especially vulnerable and saw themselves reduced to twisted wraiths bent to Sauron's whims. It wasn't any better for the less kingly humans, so much so that Sauron mind controlled most of Numenor. We're talking about an island nation that could have had wow. as many as 18 million people, and Sauron had them all at his creepy pokey fingertips. This led to retaliation from Eru, who had hardly directly intervened ever before, even against Morgoth. Eru sank Numenor while Sauron was still on it, but the Dark Lord spirit persevered, indestructible even against the wrath of God. Sauron used the ring to build himself a new body. It may have cost a lot of power, but he took a biblical event to the face and went right back on to being evil. And yet, putting so much power into one object did have drawbacks. Which hit back hard when Isildur subtracted a digit from his hand. The warrior king did more than just cut off a finger. He took the ring and its power for himself. This act forced Sauron to retreat as a disembodied spirit threatened by his own power in the hands of another. And should the One Ring be destroyed completely, Sauron's spirit could be rendered impotent beyond repair. It isn't all bad, though. Mm. The Ring can turn you invisible, create visions of impending doom, and has one hell of a defense mechanism. Yeah, who'd want to destroy it when it makes you want it? It has a will of its own, with promises whispered even the best of us can't refuse. The greatest poultry dinner ever, Boomstick. Bourbon. That's how the Hennessy be looking at me late at night. <laughs> John, Parmesan, her ducking. It's so precious. You gotta drink it. What did you just do? What? It sounded delicious. Well, ring or no ring, exactly like a beast. He swatted away armies of soldiers, interrupted Mount Doom through sheer willpower. He has total control over his own being and can modify his soul at will. So he can definitely resist someone like Spooky Ghost Killer Brimbor trying to dominate his spirit. 
and being among the strongest Maiar. The peak of Sauron's power is beyond that of Ose, a lesser Maya, which is specifically important because Ose single-handedly raised the island of Numenor. Yeah, remember okay. that island that got no one? That place. No wonder everyone wants his ring. Who could turn down that much power? Hey, look, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like that's wrong. <laughs> I feel like we can't just call floods getting no I, I don't know. That just don't... That don't, that don't sit right. I I, I, I ain't doing it. I don't, I don't know if y'all gonna jump on that way, but I, nah. <laughs> the hearts of men are easily corrupted, and he kept the ring yeah. rather than destroy it. But in the end, the ring destroyed him and waited for its master's return. Sauron was rebuilding Mordor into a world-conquering force. And after a little bit of good old-fashioned torture, he found out the ring was in the Shire. The chillest, coziest, dopest place imaginable. Ah oh, man, when I retire, I'm gonna go live in a hobbit hole and just get lit 24-7. And so began the War of the Ring. Sauron's forces covered the land, seeking both the ring and the downfall of man always shadowed by the symbol of his ever-present influence, the Eye of Sauron. It was a slaughter fest! Middle-earth stood no chance. Everybody basically accepted death by orcs as inevitable. It was hopeless. The kingdoms of men would finally fall for good. Save for the Dark Lord's truest weakness. Sauron's cunning and stratagems were impressive, sure, but ultimately, he never truly understood the people of Middle-earth. In his mind, absolute power was factually irresistible. He never imagined a mere mortal could ever or would ever seek to actually destroy the One Ring. Against all odds and a whole lot of walking, Sauron was defeated. Not by the sparkly new king or the armies of Middle-earth, but by the most unlikely creature imaginable, Elijah Wood. Yet, even as a formless shadow, Sauron's legacy remains one of domination, treachery, and most of all, fear. Fitting for the being that represents, and I quote, as near an approach to the holy evil will as is possible. Ooh. That's a hard nickname. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. He, Sauron, uh, Sauron he, he, at least got, he at least win the nickname battle. Now let's go ahead and see about the Lich King and see what he's got to kind of produce to that. Now obviously we saw Sauron get beat. You just have to destroy his ring. But he has a lot of cool abilities. Teleportation, putting up images, controlling minds. Okay. I, I think I got a pretty good sense of what uh, Saran has to offer. Let's go to Lit King. Screw you, blacksmith. You're never taking my hard-earned gold. I'll never have to get naked and die again. By donning this dark helm, Nerzul and Arthas fused to become one a being far more powerful than either had been before. He could effortlessly cover cities in ice storms, murder hundreds with the power of shadow, and learn all of your secrets with the eye of Acherus. Azeroth's oh, fate guys. was sealed. Everyone was doomed. See this guy? He's Illidan, a 15,000-year-old demon hunter with a bit of a chip on his shoulder. As a death knight, Arthas could take him down, even after fighting through a massive army to get to him. Against this new Lich King, Illidan never stood a chance. This is important because Illidan had absorbed the power of Gul'dan, an orc warlock who, alongside his followers, raised the Broken Isles out of the sea, a massively powerful feat of magic. The fact that Arthas, a mortal guy, beat him up is a big deal. Just imagine how kick-ass he'd be in full control of the undying Lich King powers. Oh wait, we don't have to. Nerzul may have pulled Arthas' strings up until this point, but he had made a drastic miscalculation. Within the mind of the Lich King, Arthas battled Nerzul for control and won. The power of Frostmourne, of the Scourge, of Undeath itself was now under the command of Arthas. And by this point, he was just done. Like, with everything. We've all had one of those days, right? Where you see all of humanity is so pathetic they can only be saved by just killing them all so you rip out your own heart. Yeah, relatable. Determined to end all life, Arthas led his scourge across Azeroth, spreading the plague to every corner of the world. He slaughtered every contender in his path, including legendary champions like this hero of the Horde, Dranosh Sarfang. Who the Lich King bitch slapped to death in one hit, then zombified to serve him instead. Man, that didn't go well. The Lich King seemed unstoppable. Only one thing could take him down. 
a 25-man raid team of the best nerds World of Warcraft servers had to offer. And that one guy who was just there because he was friends with somebody, but damn, he sucked. With these uh, heroes triumphant, the Paladin Tyrion shattered Frostmourne with an equally legendary blade, ending the Lich King's vile reign. But the Scourge doesn't work on Phantom Menace battle droid rules, so there must always be a Lich King to keep the relentless undead in check. Yet no Fair Lich enough. King before or since ever matched the terror and malice Arthas brought to Azeroth. Without a doubt, one of the most terrifying kings to ever conquer the world of Warcraft. Okay, he sounds he sounds pretty powerful. I'm not gonna lie to you. Azeroth, Metrio, Synthos. She was trying to conjure up the uh, the Lich King. <laughs> Teen Titans is linked to Lich King. Is linked to World of Warcraft or something? Like, no, I'm just playing. But no, nah, uh, I don't know. I don't think we ever, I mean, obviously there were more after him, so obviously he got defeated some type of way, but there wasn't just like, I hope I don't catch an L for this. I think I was slightly more impressed with the Lich King and his abilities, uh, the things that he was able to do and conquer during his reign as the you know, the bad guy or the, you know, the, the leader. Uh, I think I was more impressed by what he was able to do in World of Warcraft than I was the Lord of the Rings. So I'm going to go Lich King. With this one, let me know down below. This is the time to go ahead and put down your predictions and stats. Who you guys think is going to win this fight? And at the end of it, let's go ahead and put up our doves or L's based off what we get. Now, obviously, I don't have too much emotional stake in this because I don't know either one. So I'm not going to be mad if we catch the L, but we're still going for a W today. Come on, Lich King. It's time for an undeath battle. Uh, undeath battle. Beard on you. Seems so slow. You serve me I serve no one. Okay. Witness the prophecy of your doom. You speak nothing. Okay.
แหละRock out with that. Like I said, it, it came up with some good results. Came with some good understanding there with that. I think it does make sense. I mean, just the true essence, you know, fire does be ice. But I mean, yeah. I mean, it, although it's simple to just think about beating the ring, it probably would be a lot harder work, and especially you'd have to figure that out. Uh, and the only thing that they needed to do for Lich was kind of just break the sword. So I guess I should have been thinking about that a little bit more. I just kind of thought like defeating a ring would be a little bit easier, possibly. And although I know fire does, you know, beat ice, but ice also means up after getting melts, it turned into water and water beats fire. So I kind of thought I would uh, deteriorate that way. But I like the, the results that came up with that, man. Let me know down below if you guys got that dub or L. Uh, give me more details about either show. If you guys want to feel free to share more with the, uh, either one of those. And if there are shows I should check out or games I should play, let me know. And we definitely will hop on them. So it's me, your boy, Shot Too Smooth. Okay, back okay, back time, King Leo. I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. I'm gone for the day. Peace.